Let me stay with this issue on the FABs, and I had looked at your notice of funding opportunity when you were talking about we could have as many FABs as we want and how we have to move forward on this with the supply chain. So my question for you is looking at the investment tax credit. And should Congress look at harmonizing the investment tax credit in 48D to align with the program that you are running to ensure that the law allows for manufacturing for the facilities that you claim are going to be necessary and for being able to reshore much of that activity? And then how are you working with Secretary Yellen on this? So, you know, I'll leave it to Congress to decide if and how you might want to amend the legislation. The legislation as currently crafted um, uh, has the tax credit being more restrictive than the CHIPS Act, excuse me, than the grant. So it's, it's intended by statute that the tax credit is more restrictive than the grant program. Yes, my question is, should we harmonize that? Uh, once again, I, I had to think about that, to be okay. very honest. If like, you want to get back to me on that, I think your insight on this is something that is important. Okay. So, um, Dr. Punch, again, we almost got you into a UT jersey <laughs> when you were there <laughs> in Tennessee, and we'll get you back. Let's talk a little bit about um, microelectronics and ultraviolet lithography. And the work that is being done there, what are you doing to make certain that we don't have several different agencies that are working on this, but we're not harmonizing that work? Uh, Senator, uh, it was great to be with you and uh, uh, at, at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, where we announced the Regional Innovation Engine, which I keep talking about. Uh, this was focused on transportation, electrification, and digitization. And specifically to your question, we have very tight partnerships with all of the agencies in topical areas that brings us together. For example, okay. we have an MOU so with the Department of Energy. So you're watching the duplication. Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. That's what I wanted to wanted to hear, and I know people in Tennessee wanted to know that. Yes. Um, Secretary, I want to talk a little bit about your trip to China. Did you think it was a success? It was a productive trip, certainly. Were you able to hold them to account? I was clear that there'll be no negotiation on anything related to national security or export controls. And uh, did you um, call them out about committing genocide against the Uyghur Muslims? I did. And their response? I didn't get much of a response. OK. And have you visited Taiwan? I have not. Uh, any reason for that? I have had no reason to visit Taiwan. No reason to visit Taiwan? And even though they're a primary supplier of a lot of chips, do you consider Taiwan a country? The administration's policy is clear on Taiwan. and uh, So you're not going to deviate from that? Absolutely not. OK. All right. Um, I, I think that we are all very concerned about continuing to bolster our leadership, whether it is is going to deal with semiconductors, broadband, AI, quantum, uh, the microelectronics that we were just discussing, and we cannot afford to fall behind the CCP. We just can't. And it's going to take calling them out on this and holding them to account. And in my opinion, it is going to take supporting Taiwan and the work that they are doing. And of course, you know, We've got to make certain that the CCP-controlled entities don't benefit as we move forward implementing CHIPS. And I think it's also, Madam Chairman, one of the reasons that we've got to get busy with the NQIA and make certain that we get that reauthorized this year. And uh, I had read the article in The Hill where they mentioned that quantum computing capabilities are things that the Chinese Communist Party is going to use to bolster their surveillance and their satellite movements. And uh, 
as you look at this, it is imperative that we not give them one inch. And I, I think that sending that message that, yes, indeed, Taiwan is someone we can work with and they want to have our business is something that's important. 